goes up. The Dark Swarm had to be a uh, second one, and now the Zerg will be able to mob this up. And it's all oh, very nice, very nice um, play going off here. The Science Vessels are still there, irritating the, uh, the thingies here, and as a lot of Zergling just came out of this. Uh, oh, those drones are already going in. Let's see what's happening across the map then. So, that that was that was a good attack. So, uh, <laughs> so the burrow has been upgraded as well. And now we're gonna whittle away the HP of those medics. They're gonna be there a while. Uh, medics never surrender. And we have an, an irritated ultralisk going again in here. Poor Firebats. Have a battle of his life. Ah, oh, Firebat doesn't make it. And uh, now a fresh one. No, he's not gonna do it because there's a little bit of a medic blockade as well. So that's good. Again, a Zerg combat force going in. And this. The, the Terran Force is always bigger and more organized. So. I don't know. Zerg's pretty much spread across the map now. So he does have the economy. He's got 800, 800 in the bank and Terran has got 2,000. So Terran's production isn't what it's supposed to be. Again, this little attack. And this is actually cost effective. He can get that. Yeah, he, he did get that tank. So Zerglings are cheap units. So if they get little attack, but he could, if he just would mass. <laughs> okay, fine. So these. Science Vessel's just chilling. If I was the Zerg right now, I would just make like 10,000 scourges. But it probably doesn't see it. So that entire Science Vessel force is just alone. Again, only two Ultralisks going to kill that, that expansion. The expansion must die! So, all of these, all of these Science Vessels just camping out there. Yeah. So they're now going to rejoin the main army. And yeah, that's just... Pointless. The Terran Ball is made to be destroyed by a large army, not a small one. Because Terran doesn't have the production, now he does. He has eight barracks going. Um, he still only has those two factories, but that's all he needs. Two starports pumping out, cons consistently pumping out those science vessels, and none are being taken down. So in the long run, I'm going to give it to Terran. Because, um, yeah, you see, these his attacks are meaningful. So he's gonna, actually going to take finish off his job earlier um, to com and that dropship is just gonna abandon those marines and he's gonna build a bunker behind that why not uh, he, he can't reach it that ultra is staring down that marine not being able to get it um, so we have another battle going not supported by dog swarm but strangely uh, effective because of these ultra -lisks. Well, the Ultralisks are going down because now they're three attack upgraded marines. They can damage these Ultralisks. They're uh, still doing a lot of damage, but not enough. Now, again, the expansion finally. <laughs> Second command center going down here. And a lot of links chasing. That's a lot of, that's a lot of SCVs because uh, Terran's main, uh, oddly enough, is almost dry. So. After after this while, so he doesn't need these expansions. But I don't know why he just doesn't take the ex the island, because uh, Zerg in the means of transportation. Uh, I don't think he's even got uh, speed research on his overlords. There's an oh look another dropship camping out here. That's a lot of drones here. That's a lot. But there's nothing in the drop dropship. So and these signs are all just merrily bobbing along. So let's see. See, that was that's what I was afraid of. All of these science vessels are now plagued, and but there's no uh, no um, anti-air, no mutilisk to take care of them. But that's nice. Uh, that's very very dangerous. He's gonna run around, run away those science vessels again. Another attack uh, with no dark swarm, but this isn't really a supported uh, Terran army either. So I don't know who's gonna come out on top. I think it's it will be the uh, the Terran. So, Marines go down, ah, oh, so these tanks might actually have to run for it. And there's nothing in here, so Marines are gonna go down here, that tank's gonna go down. Um, Marines in the bunker, gonna take it off. Uh, Rory. Again. Pure, mu pure zergling, zergling mass attack is not gonna, oh, this is going to be painful. All of these Marines are gonna go in here, if these drones don't react fast. They will all die a horrible, horrible, spiky death if they don't run into that Nias Canal now. Run, little piggies, run. They're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it. They're going to die. All of them. And Zerg, actually, they're both actually by almost 
Why not? So these drones, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Yeah, that one ult is not gonna cut it. This drone still... This is Zerg's last operational base. And he's only got... He needs 300 in the bank for another hatchery. He needs to go fight with everything he's got. So both of them have been harassing each other for so long that they don't have any any minerals in the bank anymore. So there we go, the SEVs in that one and these again some zerglings so that's why uh stupid silly me there's only zerglings yeah that eraser is not gonna work with burrowed units i believe eraser doesn't work with burrowed units so sorry tough luck gonna wait for that and only only medics left and one the matrix marine is just gonna go in there uh trying to kill off that eye dies so i'm sorry only medics left and one irritated ultra disc <laughs> god let's see what how's the economy like so we've got some lifted off command centers now uh what's uh got i think maybe he's not even now he's not researching drop tech so this is the last thing. watch out oh, one brave brave scourge kills one of them <laughs> <laughs> These are all damaged time vessels. Well, look, it's one of them got 13 kills on them. Uh, one one mutilisk kills all of these, except that one. Uh, all of them die, one mutilisk. But he doesn't have the gas anymore. Oh god, another attack going. Doesn't have the filer. But yeah, these ultralisks take the bulk of the damage but not enough because uh, like I said a Terran Ball needs at least a Defiler to take out one Dark Swarm, one Plague to, to try and kill to, to counter those uh, the effect of those medics and that defensive matrix but both of them are now just clawing at each other whatever they've got left Zerg has one operational expansion this one which one he fought for valiantly and now Terran has two operational expansions if he's careful enough but <laughs> these two I mean come on there's only two Zerglings and a very large force, so it really depends who can expand now the fastest, uh, who can use or who can use their army. I mean, this huge sign vessel, I don't, he can break the sunken colony, I'm not sure. <laughs> Kill that one defiler. That's the thing, with this, this massive sign vessel army, uh, any defiler just get killed, gets killed instantly or any ultralisk in a minute. He, he needs some air support, he needs to... he had to build more scourges, but he's not doing that um, because of course now it's too late. This expansion is not gonna go down anytime soon I think because this is the entire Terran army I believe. He's not producing a lot. He's producing from two, two barracks, three barracks. He, um, yeah, just some gas coming in here. So his entire army is here and there, who oh dear, there's gonna be one massive er eraser. If he doesn't watch out, what's he gonna do? Zerg's probably seen it, two scourges going, going there, one going down, what's gonna happen? Is he going to react? He's gonna burrow them, only a few burrowed, and he's already retreating, so all of them going down. But when he does that, Zerg's economy is completely down. It's completely shut down. One spore colony, with those damaged sign vessels, he might actually back off, but here comes the entire army of the Terran, and he's gonna finish it right here, I think. Um, if Zerg has something up his sleeve, he doesn't have, he does, he's got 150 minerals up his sleeve. That's about it. Um, let's see, we've even got some uh, bunkers, but the bunkers are empty, so again, that expansion's gonna get attacked. Ah. And again, those um, SUVs have to run. There's no SUVs to speak of here. Um, there we go. We have some something. We have one defiler with 250 uh, energy. He can be very important. If he can s both swarm and plague this little group, he can win this battle. And he's got. Here we go. He's got. Um, Zerglings and a few Ultralisks, but these are all gonna get irritated. He's got enough science vessels to irritate. There we go. One. There we go, one dark swarm, one plague, and we have a small army here. Ah, and it's not enough. One D matrix, and that does were just too damaged. The file is gonna go down as well. It was a nice action. The swarm and the plague, very nice. But he's got only got a handful of zerglings. He's got no defiler anymore. Uh, he has one HP marines and uh, medics who have no health whatsoever. And the Terran goes into the dark swarm. That's a very bad. Very bad mistake. He's gonna try. He's not gonna try it. Those science vessels are just too big.